Making mathematically smart decisions in poker is easier than you think. To determine if a decision you face is plus EV, expected to win money in the long run, or negative EV, expected to lose money in the long run, you only need to know two calculations, pot odds and equity. If the pot odds are less than the equity, it is a plus EV decision. If the pot odds are greater than the equity, it's a negative EV decision. And what are pot odds? It's a calculation of the amount you have to risk in order to reap the reward. To calculate it, take the amount you need to put into the pot in order to call the bet and divide it by the total that will be in the pot once that bet, which you are pondering adding, is included. For example, if there's $40 in the pot and someone bets $10 to you, one-fourth of the pot, you are being offered 5 to 1 odds. Your one bet for the five that are now in the pot, the four that were there pre-flop, plus the one bet before yours. To translate that into a percentage, it's 1 divided by 6 because you will add your bet into the calculation. And 1 divided by 6 is 16.7%. If you're facing a half a pot bet, you're being given 3 to 1 odds, which is 1 divided by 4 or 25% pot odds. When facing a pot sized bet, you're being given 2 to 1 odds, which is 33.3% pot odds, 1 divided by 3. I'm going over all of this pretty fast, but I promise it really is very simple math. Don't be afraid to rewind and watch it again if you need to, or I highly recommend if you want a longer explanation, you could check out Essential Poker Math by Alton Hardin. It's an excellent book with a lot of tips for making the poker math extremely simple. Now, moving on. Once you know what your pot odds are, you need to know how much equity you have in the hand, which is how often the hand will win in the long run. Or, as some say, the percent of the pot that you can expect to win in the long run. It's important to note that the amount of equity you have changes throughout the hand. There are charts that can help you memorize the approximate equity each hand has pre-flop, which will vary based on what hand you are facing and how many hands you are facing. And there are calculators that can help you determine the precise equity that hands have and other tools. I recommend that beginners start by memorizing these common scenarios. In any overpair versus underpair situation, such as aces versus tens, or pocket nines versus pocket threes, there's approximately an 80% chance that the higher pair will win, and a 20% chance that the underpair will prevail which means that if someone raises with a pot-sized bet and you have a small pair and think they might have a large pair, you're making a negative EV decision if you call that bet. You only have 20% equity in the hand and you're being offered 33.3% pot odds. That's negative EV. However, if they bet a third of the pot or less, it's mathematically wise to call. If you have two high cards like ace-king or king-queen and you're facing a pair like pocket tens or pocket nines, you have approximately a 55% chance to win. So if you're holding a small to medium pair and you think your opponent only has two higher cards, that pot size bet is not so scary. You have 33.3% pot odds, as we said, but you now have 45% equity in the hand. If they bet a mere half a pot, you're being offered 25% pot odds, and it's definitely mathematically wise to call. Depending on your position at the table, you might even want to play two undercards pre-flop, because you do have 35% equity in the hand, against two overcards. 
pot size bet is 33.3% .3 pot odds, and the half size pot bet is 25% pot odds, both of which are less than the 35% equity you have in the hand, which makes it plus EV. But don't forget, you don't want to play every hand because equity changes throughout the hand. Making plus EV decisions is no guarantee of a win. The next thing you need to know about equity is that if you're facing an all-in bet on the flop, you have double the equity. It's like you're adding the amount of equity you have on the flop and the turn together because you're getting two cards for your all-in bet. For example, if you have a flush draw on the flop, four cards of the same suit, then you have nine outs or 19% equity in the hand, which makes a half pot bet 25% pot odds or a negative EV decision. At least if it's a not all in bet. If that half pot size bet puts you or the other player all in, then your nine outs would be 38% equity, and it would be a plus EV decision. Of course, if you managed a flush draw and open-ended straight draw on the flop, such as King, Queen, Jack, 10 of hearts, that would give you 15 outs or 33% equity in the hand, making a pot size bet on the flop, whether or not it's all in, a wash of an EV decision. As you notice, they're essentially equal, so it's not really plus or negative. Again, for more help understanding what all of this means, I highly recommend Alton Hardin's Essential Poker Math. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and have fun playing Texas Hold'em.